Science. It's all around us. From the air we breathe to the technology we use every day, science plays a crucial role in our lives. From the smallest atom to the largest galaxy, science helps us understand the world we live in. It provides us with the tools to explore the mysteries of the universe and make sense of the natural phenomena that surround us. But how do scientists make sense of it all? How do they turn complex data into groundbreaking discoveries and innovations that change our world? They use a powerful tool, the scientific method. This method is a systematic approach that allows scientists to ask questions, gather data, and draw conclusions. It's not a complicated machine or a secret code. Instead, it's a logical and organized way of thinking that anyone can use to solve problems and discover new information. It's a way of thinking, a step-by-step -step process that helps us solve problems and learn new things. By following these steps, we can test our ideas, refine our understanding, and build a body of knowledge that benefits everyone. Think of the scientific method as a roadmap. Just like a map guides travelers to their destination, the scientific method guides researchers through the process of discovery. It guides explorers and adventurers like you and me on a journey of discovery. Whether you're investigating the depths of the ocean or the far reaches of space, the scientific method is your trusty guide. Just like a map helps us navigate through unfamiliar territory, the scientific method helps us navigate the exciting world of science. It provides a clear path to follow, ensuring that our explorations are thorough and our conclusions are reliable. So, get ready to put on your thinking caps and grab your lab coats. Whether you're a seasoned scientist or a curious beginner, the scientific method is a tool that can help you unlock the secrets of the universe. We're about to embark on an adventure to unlock the secrets of science using the amazing scientific method. Together, we'll explore, experiment, and discover the wonders of the world around us. Let's dive in and see what we can uncover. Every great scientific discovery starts with a simple act, observation. It's about paying close attention to the world around us, using all our senses to gather information. See something unusual? Hear a strange sound? Smell something funny? That's your cue to start investigating. Imagine you're walking in the park and notice a group of birds gathered around a particular tree. That's an observation. Or maybe you're baking cookies and realize they spread out more on one cookie sheet than another. Observation strikes again. Observations spark our curiosity and lead us to ask questions. They're the fuel that ignites the scientific method, the first step on our journey of discovery. So, keep your eyes peeled, your ears perked, and your minds open. Observations make us wonder, and that wonder leads to questions. Asking the right questions is crucial to the scientific method. It helps us narrow down our focus and guides our investigation. Let's go back to those birds in the park. After observing them, you might ask, why are the birds attracted to that specific tree? Or in the case of the spreading cookies, your question could be, does the type of cookie sheet affect how much cookies spread? Good scientific questions are clear, specific, and testable. This means we can design experiments to find answers. So be curious, be specific, and don't be afraid to ask why or how. The more questions we ask, the closer we get to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Now that we have a burning question, it's time to come up with a possible answer. A hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess, a tentative explanation for our observation. It's like saying, I think this might be happening because... For our bird-loving friends, a hypothesis could be, the birds are attracted to that tree because it's bearing fruit. And for our baking enthusiasts, a possible hypothesis could be, cookies spread more on greased cookie sheets than on non-stick ones. Remember a hypothesis isn't necessarily right or wrong, it's just a starting point, a possible explanation that we need to test. The next step in our scientific journey will help us determine if our hypothesis holds water. Section 5 Experimentation Putting Your Hypothesis to the Test Alright, it's time to put on our scientist hats and design an experiment. This is the exciting part where we transition from theory to practice. We take our educated guesses, our hypotheses, and put them through rigorous testing to see if they hold up under scrutiny. This is where we get to roll up our sleeves and test our hypothesis. It's not just about proving ourselves right or wrong, it's about discovering the truth. Every step we take in the lab brings us closer to understanding the world around us. Experiments are carefully designed tests that help us gather evidence and see if our hypothesis is supported. We use various tools and methods to ensure our tests are accurate and reliable. From measuring instruments to controlled environments, every detail matters. 
To test the bird hypothesis, we could observe the tree over a few days and see if the birds are indeed eating fruit. This involves setting up observation schedules, recording data meticulously, and perhaps even using cameras to capture the bird's behavior when we're not around. For the cookie conundrum, we could bake batches of cookies on both greased and non-stick sheets and measure how much they spread. This means precise measurements of ingredients, consistent baking times, and careful documentation of the results. A well-designed experiment is like a fair race. Just as in a race, where all participants start at the same line and follow the same rules, our experiments must be fair and unbiased. We need to ensure that our testing conditions are consistent and that our results are not influenced by external factors. We want to make sure we're only changing one factor, our variable, at a time. This is crucial because it allows us to pinpoint exactly what is causing any changes we observe. By isolating our variable we can draw clear, accurate conclusions from our data. This way we can be confident that any changes we observe are due to that specific factor. It's like having a magnifying glass that focuses on one detail, making it easier to see and understand. Accurate data collection and analysis are key to validating our hypothesis. Experimentation is the heart of the scientific method, the core process that drives scientific discovery. It's a collaborative effort, often involving teams of scientists working together, sharing ideas and building on each other's work. The moment of truth where we put our ideas to the test. It's a thrilling experience whether our hypothesis is supported or not. Each experiment brings us one step closer to understanding the mysteries of our world, and that's what makes science so incredibly rewarding. Section 6. Analysis, Deciphering the Results Our experiment is complete, and we've gathered a bunch of data. This data is the backbone of our research, the raw material from which we will extract meaningful insights. Now what? It's time to analyze the results. This is where the real detective work begins. We dive deep into the numbers, charts, and observations to uncover the story they tell. This means carefully examining the data we collected, looking for patterns, trends, and any interesting observations. We use statistical tools and software to help us visualize and interpret the data. Did the birds feast on the fruit from that specific tree supporting our hypothesis? We compare our observations with our initial predictions to see if they align, or did they ignore it, sending us back to the drawing board to revise our hypothesis. Sometimes the data doesn't match our expectations and that's okay, it's all part of the scientific process. Did the cookies on the grease sheets spread more than those on the non-stick ones confirming our suspicions? We look for consistent results across multiple trials to ensure our findings are reliable. Or did something unexpected happen? Sometimes anomalies in the data can lead to new discoveries or prompt us to ask new questions. Analyzing data helps us make sense of our experiment and understand what the results mean. It's a critical step that bridges the gap between raw data and meaningful conclusions. It's like solving a puzzle, piecing together the clues to reveal the bigger picture. Each piece of data is a clue that helps us understand the overall outcome of our experiment. Sometimes the results are surprising, leading us down new paths of investigation. These unexpected findings can open up new avenues of research and lead to exciting discoveries. Ultimately, the goal of analyzing our data is to draw conclusions that advance our understanding of the world. Whether our hypothesis is confirmed or refuted, each experiment brings us one step closer to the truth. We document our findings meticulously, preparing reports and presentations to share with the scientific community. This transparency allows others to replicate our work and build upon our findings. And so the cycle of scientific inquiry continues. Each experiment, each analysis, and each discovery fuels the next, driving the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Section seven, conclusion, unveiling the truth. We've observed, questioned, hypothesized, experimented, and analyzed. Now it's time for the grand finale, the conclusion. Based on our analysis of the data, we draw a conclusion about our hypothesis. Was our hypothesis supported by the evidence? If so, fantastic. We've successfully navigated the scientific method and gained a deeper understanding of our world. But even if our hypothesis wasn't supported, that's okay. In science, even wrong answers provide valuable information. Conclusions are not the end of the story. They often lead to new questions, new hypotheses, and more exciting experiments. The scientific method is a continuous cycle of exploration and discovery, always pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Section 8. The Scientific Method in Everyday Life 
You might be thinking, wow, the scientific method sounds impressive, but is it only for scientists in fancy labs? Not at all. The scientific method is a powerful tool that we can all use in our everyday lives. Think about it. When you try to fix a leaky faucet, troubleshoot your Wi-Fi, or even decide on the best route to work, you're using elements of the scientific method. You're observing, questioning, experimenting, trying different solutions, analyzing the results, and drawing conclusions. The scientific method helps us become better thinkers, problem solvers, and decision makers. It encourages us to be curious, to ask questions, and to not be afraid to experiment and learn from our mistakes. Section 9. Embrace your inner scientist. So there you have it, the amazing scientific method. It's a journey of discovery that starts with a simple observation and leads us to a deeper understanding of our world. Remember, the scientific method isn't just for scientists and labs, it's a tool we can all use every day to explore the world around us. So, go ahead, embrace your inner scientist, be curious, ask questions, experiment, and never stop exploring. The world is full of fascinating mysteries just waiting to be uncovered, and the scientific method is your key to unlocking them. Who knows what amazing discoveries you'll make? The possibilities are endless.